For your part B, you're going to be using an E minor chord, a hammer on, along with the forward roll. Your E minor chord, you're going to take your ring finger and it goes on the first string, second fret. You're going to take your middle finger and it goes on the fourth string, second fret. Notice that I'm not using my index finger here, I'm using my middle finger. My index finger is free, I'm going to need that for a C chord later on. So what you're going to do with this chord, your forward roll this time, it's thumb, index, middle, thumb, but you're actually going to be doing it on the fourth string. It'll be four, two, one, five, and you're going to do a hammer on onto the fourth string from open to the second fret. That puts you in your E minor position. So again, that's your forward roll, four, two, one, five. Then you're going to play the first string open, and that's with your middle finger. And then you're going to put your E minor chord back down, and you're going to do a pinch on one and five. So that lick sounds like this. You do that three times. Here's two. Here's the third time. Now you're going to go to a B chord. I am going to suggest that you use three fingers for the B chord in this place. Um, you're going to be going to the fourth fret. You're going to be fretting all three strings, one, two, and three. And what I do is I use my ring finger as just like a gauge. It's just going to be a rail. It's going to slide me up to the fourth fret and then place the other two fingers in here. If your fingers are too fat to do this, go ahead and use this finger to slide up and then use either this finger or this finger to fret the other two frets. The reason that I'm having you keep your ring finger down here is it's going to be a whole lot easier to get back to your E minor. If you drop out of this position and go to this position with just a finger like this barred, it makes it very difficult then to get back into this position for most beginners. So again, you can just take this finger, slide it up, and then either use both fingers or one or the other fingers here so that you're fretting for the first three strings. What you're doing at this point is a forward backward roll. And this is just your standard forward backward roll. It's three, two, one, five, one, two, three, one. And here's your right hand positioning, but I think you know this by now. And it's just one forward backward roll. And then you are going to go back to that same E minor pattern that we started with. You'll just do it twice this time. One more time. Now this last half is going to be just like the end of Banjo in the Hollow. You'll go to your C chord and notice this finger is already in the right spot. So we go to the C chord. We're doing a forward roll. Five, two, one, five. That's thumb, index, middle, thumb. Then you're going to a backwards roll open. One, two, three, one. Then you're going to your D7 chord. This is a forward roll. It starts on your third string. Three, two, one, five. And then this is your third string. Make sure that you use your index finger on this, not your thumb. You're playing it open. And then you're going to do a pinch with one and five. That's your thumb and your middle finger. That is all of part B. You will play part B two times. This is what part B sounds like.
and that's the whole song.